Hello, Mr. Zonker here, and this video is on spas. That's right, scatter plot associations. And just like any good day at the spa, let's make sure we're relaxed. So take a deep breath, let it out. Ah, you didn't take a deep breath, did you? Well, I can't force you to relax, but I'm feeling good, so let's get to it. Our first two associations are positive and negative. For a positive association, we know that as x increases, y increases. That means as we move forward on the x-axis, the y values grow, they get bigger. A negative association, as x increases, y decreases. And we can see here, as we move forward in x, the y values start decreasing. Associations can also be strong, weak, or not existent at all. A strong association is very predict tr predictable. We can see that these dots are close to one another and we can kind of predict where the next dots are going to be. A weak association is not very predictable, but it is somewhat. We can see here that the dots are slowly increasing, getting bigger in value, but they are very spread out. We wouldn't be able to pinpoint the, uh, any future points very well. This is a weak prediction, a weak association. And no association means when we look at it, we really can't find any pattern. These dots appear to just be randomly scattered throughout. That would have really no association at all. Next up, linear and nonlinear. A linear association can be modeled with a line. For example, we have these points. If we draw a line kind of through them, we can see that, li that line does a pretty good job of modeling the data. In our second example for a nonlinear, if we drew kind of a, a curve here to fit the points, that association is definitely not going to be modeled uh, with a line. So we said that say that's nonlinear. These next two aren't associations specifically, but they can help us describe what's going on with the scatter plot. And in an outlier, this is basically a point that is outside of what would be expected. Oh, there's a typo. Well, it actually makes sense. I'm just going to leave it. In this in this plot, we can see that we kind of have a linear association going down here, uh, but up here, we've got this outlier, or this point, that we would not necessarily expect. A cluster is when points are grouped together. We can see here that we've got uh, this kind of group going on right here. We've got another cluster over here. Uh, for a cluster, we basically have points that congregate together uh, for whatever reason. And both of these things are, are useful when we're analyzing data. All right, that's actually it for today. I know there's been some complaints of people wanting longer videos. Um, so I'm going to be working on that. This one's fairly short. Uh, but I think it's important to be able to, to know how to recognize these types of associations and tie in some vocabulary with those things. So with that said, I hope this video was helpful.